shouldn't be possible. What shouldn't be possible? He's gaining experience here in the real world. Are you sure? Positive. The data doesn't lie. Outstanding. <laughs> Listen, there's no time. You are walking back from the docks. And then you were beaten. And they dragged your body away under the moonlight. I see we just tie a block to his leg and let him sleep with the fishes. Shut your mouth, you dimwit. The boss wants him alive. And now you are here. Get ready. I will explain all of this in the future. Who are you? I'm one kick Greg. Bitch. Being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 11, Recuperation. <sighs> Just got the test results here. Well, anything wrong? What? The results, is there anything wrong with my brain? Oh, yes. Ooh. Your brain appears normal, at least as far as we can tell with our limited technology. Anywho, I'm a busy doctor, so you're free to go. Aren't you supposed to tell me I'm supposed to, like, take it easy? I mean, I am a pirate. I live a pretty dangerous life. Nope. See you later. Hmm. Hey Rick, uh, I just wanted to say thank you for helping me out there, and um, I was wondering if you wanted to join- Those chickens ain't gonna kick themselves! Okay? Um... See you later! 
What a weird guy. Wait, that's how you met? It sure was. I thought that wasn't until... Nope. That's what most people expect because, well, we'll get to that later. All right. Sorry for interrupting. Please continue. I decided to ease back into my daily life after I escaped the lab. But I'll admit that my mind wasn't completely back to normal. I didn't question why my skills had changed during the time that I was attached to that machine. All I could think about was picking up where I had left off and working out how to use these shiny new oak planks in my inventory. All right, so we are back here, safe spotting these ice trolls so we can hopefully get an adamant ax. That's really the key to using all these feathers. Once we have an adamant ax, we can chop a bunch of logs, fletch up all these arrow shafts, and then the plan is to make a bunch of headless arrows with those. Wait a minute, why am I safe spotting them down here? It's probably a lot easier just to go up here and strike them from a distance. And then those guards can just pick them off and I'll take no damage. And this will be so much faster. Genius. This is working pretty great, actually. I mean, I have to use defensive casting, but I don't really care. What matters is just getting that adamant ax. We got it! We got it! We got it! Yes, we can finally carry on our way. Sweet. Well, I guess we're headed back south. I'm just gonna sell these back so we can get some more inventory space. And then we're off to Willows. It just occurred to me that I have all these. So I'm just gonna alk them. It's gonna be a while till we can use them anyways, so no loss. Yeah, it's really weird because I'm so used to like keeping things that are valuable, but on Ultimate Iron Man, you have to remember that you can't keep everything. You can only take what you need with you. Cool, 58 wood cutting. It's a free level. Wait, Frizzy Scott? <laughs> oh man, 21,000 arrow shafts. So I am standing here at the Brimhaven dungeon because we will be doing agility while we fletch all these arrowheads. That way we can just make as much use of our time as possible. And anyways, it never hurts to get some more agility levels and I have a feeling that we're gonna be needing it in the future. All right, let's go cash these in. I got 32 tickets. Oh, is that... Is that enough for... Oh, we're so close. Let's just use the rest of these. I was just fletching here for a second and I just got 48. Awesome. All right, just a couple more tickets and we can cash them out. All right, so while we take a break from agility, we have all these headless arrows. Now it is time to go buy some arrowheads. Man, you know what? I wanna buy these mithril ones, but they're kind of expensive. Let's see, how much XP? 113, okay, that's not bad. That's really not bad, but we'll have to get some more money. So I think I'll do a mix of steel and mithril. All right, that's pretty much all we have. So I'm just gonna fletch all these arrows and then we'll have arrows to kill ogres warriors and then we can buy some more. Of course, what trip to Catherby wouldn't be complete without some compost. 
And of course, picking some, some of that sticky, icky, icky. Marin Till for 15 farming. Okay, we are back at the Brimhaven Agility Arena, and you'll notice that I have 5k coins in my inventory. So after this, we absolutely need to go to Ogre's Warriors. There's no way around it. Okay, this trip was a little clutch, but we made it. We got our 25 tickets and time to cash in. Making our way to the volcano to recharge our stats. And I almost forgot about this. Once we finish these arrows, we can go, we can go test out this U short bow for the first time. How exciting. I that be a shiny diamond. 44 pre- I, I, I'm not gonna do that. Wait, Eagle Eye, that's fantastic. Oh yes, 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 yes. Give me that book of knowledge. Okay, I'd like you to take a look at the stack of runes we are building up. This is crazy. This U short bow is doing some work. <laughs> a long bone? Wow. One in 400. Wait, a curved bone? What? <laughs> this is one in 5,000. I guess we're just, uh, we can't use it. So, let's just bury it. Okay, <laughs> I actually just spent like a whole day. Like when I say a whole day, I mean like an entire day. <laughs> Look at the inventory. Look at the inventory right now. How incredible is this loot? All right, and now we just have to buy a bunch of these. May as well plant this Marantel seed while we're here. And 54 fletching. All right, as you can tell by the inventory, we got all of our arrowheads. And I'm just gonna go do a quick farming run and then it's back to agility. So this probably isn't very efficient, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Ooh, an impling. Anyways, what I was trying to say before is that first we pick off one of those unicorns, bring them over to the safe zone. Once we have enough, we'll go to Jimiwa and buy a noted pack of vials. And then for some reason, the bank will let me unnote stuff, even though I don't have a bank account there. So we'll unnote the vial, drop the vial, unnote the herb, use the herb on the vial, use the unicorn dust on there, all to get a total of 200 herb or XP. Honestly, I'm just gonna alk these. Hey, always like to see messages like this. Thanks for the support. And we're back. <laughs> I feel like I've done this like 20 times in this episode, but all we need to do is finish fletching all these arrowheads and we can move on to the next thing. Sweet, 56 fletching. Wait a sec, that's a, that's a thousand total level. Whoa, I can't believe this. We have gotten pretty far along on this journey. Wow, 
and we have 57 fletching. We're almost done with all the arrows, and as soon as we're done with that, we can just go cash in our tickets. Whoa, I didn't even know this before. We can buy Toad Flax and Snapdragon. That'll be pretty useful in the future. Okay, we'll just quickly use up the rest of these because we are done with this <laughs> for now. Honestly, we didn't even need to do this because we still have the same amount of inventory spaces available, but I don't know. When I was when I was looking at those feathers, it was just giving me a sore eye, so now they're gone. There's actually a few things we can build with these oak planks right now, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's go do that next. And before I go, I just want to give a big shout out to all the people who helped me on this video, especially the very beginning scenes, so thank you.